with the what no ways. He is putting money in my pocket and with no job in sight. I can't shut up because this problem that I had, God solved it and I came out better at the end. Thank you, Lord. Glad by the man said, uh uh. They said, boy, hush. They said he cried all the more because some problems had to cry and some problems had to cry all the more. Some problems had to say, oh, Lord, I need you. Some problems had to be prostrate on the floor saying, Jesus, I need you to move right now. Blind by the man said, y'all can't stop me from calling on Jesus because I got a problem. And guess what? If we follow with Jesus and we know he can heal, why not help by the man get his attention? Don't tell him to shut up. You tell Jesus, I'm so that Jesus is mad that he called on you. Because if some people could care less if you ever get better. There's some people that talk a good game. But as soon as they get to themselves, they're envious and judge. They don't care if you ever work out. They don't care if you break through. They don't care nothing about that because they got theirs. Now, guess what? Now, if there was a crowd of blind people, we would have this discussion. Because if everybody was blind, everybody needed Jesus. But since their situation was different, the blind part of May is, they didn't see no need of Jesus helping his problem. My but I'm here to tell you, whether it's his problem or my problem or Miss Hayes' problem, we all got the same solution, and that's Jesus. So if I got Jesus at my house, I got something going on. He told me he got a problem. Guess what I'm saying, Jesus? We leave here, teach stuff out here. He got something going on. And then when he'll get through it, no, Miss Hayes got some Jesus. We go to Miss Hayes' house. She got some going on. Because we are a community of believers. We are a Christian family. We should all want to see everybody whole. But the crowd say, shut up. Ah! But the man didn't even answer the crowd. He just kept on shouting. Ah! He didn't listen to the critics. He didn't listen to Twitter. He didn't listen to Facebook. He just said, Jesus. So the David have mercy on me because this crowd can't do what you can do for me. The first process is I got a problem. It might not be yours, and yours might not be mine, but I got a problem. First step of the process, I got a problem. The second step of the process, I found an answer. Not only do I got a problem, secondly, I found an answer. As blind water man kept on hollering, Jesus, son, help, 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 help. Jesus said, come here. Oh, I don't know about you, but Lord, I thank the Lord when he hears my request and answers it. Blind water man's been blind, folks been walking by him all his life, ain't nobody said, come here yet. But when Jesus comes passing by, he said, Lord, come here. What you want me to do? He said, I'm going to begin about sight. He said, sight receive. Not only because I got the power, because you got the faith to believe. I'm going to sit there for a second. We ain't talking about how powerful our God is. But sometimes I think we lack the faith to see him work. He said, not only do I got the power, he said, your faith has helped you out. This is the first time I've heard that. When that woman with the issue of blood came along and touched the hem of his garment, he said, Who touched you? Yeah. And then when the crowd settled down, he went up to him. She said, Baby, your issue is gone because your faith has made you whole. Oh, yeah. We serve a God that got the power. God, oh my goodness, God's power is like that blood here right down that wall. You won't know if it's hot or dead until you plug into it. Situation. When you plug in, he'll never leave you alone for a second. When you plug in, he'll make sure you got some food on the table. When you plug in, he makes sure that child will come back home. But you got to plug in. Yeah. Not only did I have a problem, I found an answer. Yeah. Thank you. Our brother man's got a chance to have an audience with Christ. What would you have for me to do? God may be speaking to somebody right now. Hey, what? 
what you ask me to do. But does your faith match his answer? Does your faith match his answer? Blind or the man's faith match God's answer. When he said receive sight, since he had faith, he started seeing. What can God do for you when you have enough faith? When the man came to Jesus and brought his son, there was demonic, he said, Jesus, if you be willing, you can help him. Jesus said, if. He said, do you believe? The father said, yes, I believe. Help? Ah, my unbelief. God ain't mad that you don't see the whole step, but he wants you to have faith that he'll walk with you every step. Ah, he's okay that you don't see the end of the play. As long as you stay there while he played the portrait. Hey, I got a problem. Hey, I found the answer. That's why I can't shut up. I refuse to be quiet. I come to church to be noisy. I come to this house to praise his name. I come to say hallelujah because I had a problem and I felt the answer. And you, your problem may not be mine, but we all had the same problem and that was sin. Not only did we have a problem, now we got an answer. And his name is Jesus. He went to Calvary and died and rose early the third day morning to fix our biggest problem, which was our sin debt. So if I'm coming here with another suit on, I still ain't going to shut up. He'll never give me another sin. I still can't shut up because he's already done for me what I can't do for myself. Glory, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Oh, yeah. I can't shut up. Blind by the man say, I, 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 I ain't nothing y'all can say to me to stop me from talking because my answer is right in front of me. But so many people let the crowd influence them. And some people don't go to church no more because of the crowd. It's a people that don't believe in Jesus no more because of the crowd. But I've come to realize pretty much where the crowd is is probably where you don't want to be. It's messy in the crowd. It's gossip in the crowd. It's backbiting and name talking in the crowd. I'd rather sit over here just me and Jesus. And, and since I got my answer, I'm always just stay with him. That's what blind on the knees did. So did Jesus. Look, it's in the text. So does Jesus gave his sight. The next verse said, and he followed him. So since I got my answer, they don't need to be standing around the crowd no more. Let's let me go with Jesus. I'm about to have three processes of why I can't shut up. Three step processes of why I can't shut up. The first reason, I got a problem. Second reason, I found the answer. And since I found the answer thirdly, I have to praise his name. That's the reason I can't shut up. I have a problem. I found the answer. And since I found the answer, I got to praise his name. It says once the man received his sight, he said immediately he received his sight and followed him, glorifying God. Now look at the crowd. Now look at the crowd. Gave his sight, he started glorifying God, and all the people, when they saw it, gave praise to God. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. The same people that said, Hush your mouth. Or now the same people that said, Praise God. Mm -hmm. That's why you can't trust the crowd. The crowd is just on whoever's side going at the moment. Two verses ago, you just said, shut up, don't bother. Now you're saying, praise God. Mm -hmm. Oh, the crowd is fickle. We, and this ain't the first time we see a fickle crowd. One day they saying, Hosanna. They put out palm leaves in his path, but a week later they said, crucify him. You got to watch out for that crowd. The crowd just told him to not seek a blessing. They see the blessing, and now they want to get on the bandwagon. That's why it behooves us to have a personal praise. That's why we need to have a praise that can't nobody alter. The, 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 they can't alter it. Trials and tribulations can't alter it. All you know is that when I get to church Sunday morning, I'm going to tell God, thank you. And then when you get good to you, sometimes you can't wait till Sunday. 
You find yourself on a Tuesday evening and cry and say, thank you, Lord. You find yourself on a Thursday morning while you drink your coffee, thank you, Lord. Because we serve that type of God. Not only did he have a problem, he found the answer, and he did what he was supposed to do. He praised God. Now, here come the crowd telling us to praise God. If I was blind, Lord, I'd have stepped away from him. You didn't want to praise him before I got the blessing. Why you want to praise him now? And y'all got no people that, 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 that don't, ain't never around, they got nothing good to say until you pull up with the new car. Ooh, girl, we going on the first trip, Melba. Ooh, boy, man, we going to the rodeo, Melba. Because if, ooh, if you can't be a friend or friendly to me before the blessing, ain't no need to try to be my friend after. I don't need no friend now. There's not a friend like the Lord in Jesus. No, not one. But oh, when I'm down and out, you ain't going to laugh at me. You want to post about me and all that. Then God, I turn that. Y'all, you know God can turn that thing around. You do know God can make the enemies your footstool. Yeah. You know the Miss Popular today can be Miss Unpopular tomorrow. God can turn that thing around. So now that he's turned around, I don't need no cheerleaders. I got Jesus. And as long as I got King Jesus, I don't need nobody else because as you can see, he's the answer. But when he answers, make sure you do what you're supposed to do and praise his name. Yeah. Blind Bartimaeus got his sight. It didn't take him two months. It didn't take him let me warm up. I need to hear the choir sing. I need to hear the, the deacon preach. I need to hear the deacon pray. I need to hear the preacher preach. The next verse, he started praising the Lord. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If he never does anything else, uh -huh. he's already done enough. He has my Lord. He has my praise. As soon as I pull up, thank you, Jesus. Pray for y'all as y'all get here. Pray that God will bless our time together that they can be an uplifting service. I can't shut up. I don't know about you, but I done made it to the point where as good as God has been to me, if he don't do that, I'm still going to say hallelujah. I ain't been blind, but I can understand being blind was a problem. Hallelujah. I ain't going to sit up here and listen to somebody that can't change what I got going on. Hallelujah. Because we serve a God that heeds our request. If you ask him about it, he'll fix it. I can't shut up. And if I could, I wouldn't. Because at the same time as Holland Jokes, uh, so uh, Hosanna, the people came up and said, Can you tell your disciples to hush up? Jesus said, If they stop, the rocks are crying. And there's a season say, I don't need no rock crying out for me. I can praise him because he fixed my problem. And hopefully you can agree with me. I can't shut up the doors of the church. Open. You may be in that. We serve a worthy God that's worthy of all our praise. He's been good. He brought us out of darkness into his marvelous life. And we even on our